Hey, what's up everybody, Malekith here, and this is just going to be a quick update video to let you know what's been going on the past week and the next week and what's coming up. Um, I will be playing Rocket League live in the background, so if I randomly go off tangents because I'm concentrating far too much on that. Um, basically, the reason there hasn't been any videos for the last week is time. Um, we're trying to sort out the wedding for later in the year. We are looking at getting a new kitchen done, uh, attending future sister-in-law's wedding this week uh what else are we doing all sorts of things there's a, a barbecue half around the country i gotta try and get to for um meeting up with guys that i usually play online with um a couple of birthdays just everything is happening all in this week suit fittings um trying to sort out stag party stuff yeah that'll be interesting um Mainly because I, I'm not allowed to know what half of it is, but I have to organise the group of people that are going to be going, which is you know, it is difficult uh, to organise a group of people and go, hey, can you guys come to this thing that I can't tell you what this thing is because I don't know what this thing is. It's, um, it's an interesting experience. So basically, yeah, no, there haven't been any videos for about the last week. And uh, this week, my free days are where I will get time to record anything longer than, you know, this tiny video on Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, so I'm a bit reluctant to kick back off with Hearts of Iron because then it will just immediately go on to a multi-day break again. I'd rather it kind of flowed nicely. What I might do is, if I get time to record on Tuesday and Wednesday, is do some sort of spotlight videos on the games I've been playing. Oh, you idiot. Um, sorry on the games I've been playing recently. So I've been playing a lot of Black Desert Online, which I probably won't do a video on because that's an MMO and it's freaking huge. Um, it doesn't, doesn't really match the audience at all. Plus it's pretty old now, so most people could find all the information they wanted elsewhere. Uh, the other games I've been playing, however, are much newer, which is Fortnite, spelled F-O-R-T-N-I-T-E. Um, it's kind of uh, difficult to describe kind of tower defense like ish but more of a third person shooter melee combat thing with it it's got elements of tower defense you you can put down traps and build walls and make a sort of a fort of sorts but you can't do that whole tower defense thing where you make them zigzag around the entire map in this long circuitous route because um, if you try to do that, they will just smash through the wall and go, no, nope, I'm having none of that. You you can half them a little bit. Um, which means a lot of the grunt work has to be done with you carrying the, the weight of, you know, running up and shotgunning them in the face. Uh, of course, there's more than just your standard sort of zombie type thing. You've got special kinds that explode or um, have mortar type shots or, you know... Things that make it more than just a, a box, box stand zombie shooter. Um, there's also the maps you spawn on are they're like a pre-made city, and you have to go smash them to pieces for resources. So there's there's wood and there's what are the other two brick and metal. So you have to smash up trees and wooden structures to get wood, and then you have to you know smash up rocks and brick structures to get brick. I don't know how you get brick out of rock, but it's, you know artistic license stone makes bricks um, and then again metal structures to get metal there's a load of sub resources that you get for crafting weapons which is a whole other side of the game um, I'll try and be detailed enough to describe it but also vague enough because a lot of this you won't understand without seeing it so there, there's an out of combat game progression system whereby you oh, unlock cards um, which represent your character, your you can get blueprints for weapons so that you can keep making weapons for yourself. Um, there's like NPC squads you sort of upgrade to boost your power and base defenses. That was a terrible attempt by me. Um, and all of those can be leveled up and have their rarity increased. Oh, that was terrible. Uh, and obviously the further through the story you progress, the more difficult things get and So it's, it's a very in-depth game. There's going to be a lot of talking to try and explain it. Um, 
the the best bit is the the loot crate system most games would just go oh yeah there's a crate you unlock it there's cards this place no it's a llama pinata uh, and then you hit it and it bursts into a load of cards that then shower down on you um because you know why not make it vaguely interesting and silly if you're going to do it it's got a nice sort of comedy aspect to it i believe the art style is cell shaded it's all that cartoony almost look as opposed to trying to be realistic at all. I guess I should probably be more aggressive as there's 18 seconds left on where we go down. No, he nudged my nose up. Then it's spiraling off into the ceiling. Ooh, oh, go on, go on. Oh, wow. Going to need a tune up after that. I'm not even sure what happened there. I want to see that replay. Um, okay, can I remember the controls to get to the uh, pass forward. Nope. 60 seconds left on the clock. Right, hang on. What's to pause? Hold it down and get the speed menu. Okay. So he shoots it. Oh, that was that was my one. That's the next one. No second. Right. Camera. Hmm. Did he just punt it into the post? It looked very different on my screen when I was playing it, I'm sure. That's me getting rammed out of the way so I can't stop him. Ah, yeah, okay. I was sure it hit some of the other cars, but no, that's just a good save by him. Fair enough. Yeah, that's what will be happening going forwards. Um, what was the other game I was going to look at? Ah, yes, Foxhole. Where it will play another game. Um, Foxhole, that's another hard one to describe. Kind of top down. It's more isometric ish, I guess. Um, World War II ish setting, uh, where two teams, you control one guy, um, persistent battlefield. So you, and each faction starts, say day one, you start with rifles. Um, some of your players will go gather resources. They'll then ship those resources back using logi well, somebody else will ship those resources back using logistic trucks to the manufacturing facilities. With the manufacturing facilities, someone else will then turn those into weapons. And then there's research sort of upgradey points you get, which increase the technology level so that you end up unlocking submachine guns, mach heavy machine guns, mortars, artillery pieces, tanks. Um, but all of these require those resources being shunted around, so you keep having to have somebody actually be the logistics guy. Um, and for some reason, some people enjoy that. I mean, fair enough. Do each their own. This is terrible by me. Oh, dear is what you get for trying to concentrate on talking making a coherent sentence and playing rocket league um yes so it's a constantly sort of changing battlefield um you can only see a vague bit in front of you um it's not really fog of war it just doesn't draw things that you don't actually have vision of so you'll find certain people have like recon binoculars that let them see further and it's really friggin helpful um, 
and people will look for gunfire. You'll see where the shots come from, but you can't actually see the people there, so then you just go drop mortar rounds on it and... It's, it's really nice and simple. Um, it's the sort of thing I think if you tried turning it into a full 3D first third person shooter type thing, it would basically be armor with all of the mods and some more on it uh, in terms of complexity. So I think it would probably lose something. The fact it's top down and relatively simple, I think lets them add the complexity of the logistics stuff out making it needlessly burdensome and complicated to play. Um, I'll do my best to get a video of that. It works best if you've got a squad to play with, so I'll make sure that's an evening when Dropkick and Co are about, um, and I can actually get, you know, several of us working together. Um, I know one of Dropkick's favourite... What are you doing? Favourite tricks at the moment, I think, was to have the... There's like a heavy machine gun on little wheels that they can push around the battlefield. Um, and you have two people on it. So one's the gunner that does a, a small amount of aiming and decides when to fire. And the other person steers and moves around the, the unit. And so the two together have to sort of coordinate to be able to hit targets. Um, but of course, it's a heavy machine gun versus bolt action rifles. So its kill capability is significant. Um, so they enjoy having that. I know somebody else enjoys messing around with the... Um, I'll call it a grenade launcher, but, you know, it's where you put the grenades on the end of the rifle. The, the World War II version of the grenade launcher. You have the blank shot and all that sorts of stuff. Um, BP enjoys using that to bomb the crap out of uh, poor guys behind sandbags. And the, the best bit about that for him is there's in-game voice chat, but it's um, positional. So you have to be near the person talking to hear the person talking. If you're lobbing mortars at people, you can hear the opposing team screaming and shouting as they're like, Ah, mortars! Take cover! Um, and he, he, he thoroughly enjoys the fact that they're screaming about mortars when he's actually lobbing grenades. Uh, and just that they're, they're demanding stuff be done while sitting there, coming back to the same spot to hide every two minutes, dying horribly repeatedly. Because they, you know, apparently haven't heard about the definition of insanity as doing the same thing repeatedly and expecting a different result. Oh, I assume that guy back there was coming in to chip at it, but never mind. Yeah, I'll try and get some video footage of both Fortnite and Foxhole. Um, not really been playing too much else recently. Hold fast is coming along nicely. I can't really say much more other than I'm very impressed with what I'm seeing. And pretty much can't wait for it to come out. Looking forward to showing it off to you guys. Um, and of course playing with a lot of you because there's been quite a lot of interest in the Discord channel for uh, people who want to come and play. Oh. oh damn it. 30 seconds left on the clock. Uh, and there's the teammate I just ran. Great. Keep chasing it, you moron. Uh, you got the boost, and then you just sit there and look at it. So yeah, I'm pretty much out of things to say, so we'll just um, finish up after this one. Oh no, I couldn't get there in time. And he didn't hit that properly. No, couldn't get that. Oh, what did you do? That was clearly a time to come out for it. Never mind. Anyway, hopefully that's enough information and rambling for the last 
Wow, 15 minutes. Um, let me know in the comments if you want me to clarify anything. I realise I was probably just talking as I went and some of it may be utterly garbage and unfinished sentences. Uh, and I'll do my best to come back and reply to them as I get time over the next few days. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.